Hi everyone, welcome back and this month's, what? <laughs> welcome back to this month's most used beauty products, which is a little reminder, just in case I need to say this every month, isn't my favourites video. This isn't necessarily the best things of the month, although these are. Um, they're the things I've used the most. So, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five things. It's always really hard to whittle it down. I have moved this out of the bathroom, mainly because it was so echoey, it was just driving me mad. And also, yeah, mainly the echo, but also it was just a bit dark. Not dark, but if I stood in front of the window to shoot, which the light would have been really good, there was just like a tile, tiled wall behind me. It's just a bit boring. And also not very comfy having to stand up and have no table for my products. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with it. Two makeup things to start with. The first one is a foundation. This is Clinique's Even Better Glow. If you want a full in-depth review with before and after pictures, there is one on my website and I shall link to it in the description box below. But basically this is a really nice sort of light to medium coverage, buildable, beautiful, juicy looking foundation. It gives you a glowing finish, it's not glittery, um, it's non-oily, so it's great if you have got combination to oily skin. Um, although, I always think if you've got very oily skin, why add shine to shine, in a way? It's probably not the best choice, um, but it would work in terms of texture, it wouldn't slide around. It's just really gorgeous, this lovely, lightweight, summertime foundation, blends out easily. I use shade CN20, and it's been my sort of go-to um, foundation if I just want very light, almost like tinted moisturiser finish. Although it's not actually a very moisturising foundation, you wouldn't use it instead of moisturiser, uh, but it gives the effect of that really sort of plumped out, dewy, healthy looking skin. Just love it, that one. And the other thing that I've just been using loads, which I don't do in this format anymore, is the Tom Ford Gold Dust Bronzing Powder. Not to be um, confused with their ultimate bronzer in gold dust, which is more like a gel, a set gelée powder bronzer. This is a traditional powder bronzer and it's shot through with like a golden glitter. And it just gives the most amazing summertime glow. Oh my God, this man with his strimmer. I swear to God. Countryside problems. Anyway, uh, this is hideously expensive, but they don't do it in this format anymore. This big sort of massive handbag, it wouldn't be handbag size, I don't even know what you'd call this, but it's cool, isn't it? They only do it in this size. And I'm scared to even tell you how much this one is. It's, uh, you actually get the same amount as you would get in a normal bronzer, even though it doesn't look like it. Looks tiny, doesn't it, in comparison? It's really expensive. I'll put the link and you can look for yourselves. But um, it's basically, you know, if you want to buy some Tom Ford bit of luxury, it is a gorgeous bronzer, very easy to blend, very buildable, looks amazing, gives the skin an amazing shine, but I am not by any means saying that you can't get something similar a lot cheaper. But you know, it's Tom Ford. He has the Midas touch when it comes to packaging and making things look all sexy and lovely. Three skincare things, the most used skincare. First one I'm not gonna talk about too much because I'm actually doing an ad with them. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Overnight Matrix. Um, and that's coming up in a video shortly where I talk about it at length, so I'll leave that. But when I'm doing sponsored work with somebody or brand work, um, and it's a product that I'm new to, I do give it a really good, thorough test before I take the job. So, um, that, I've been using that a lot, obviously. So sorry, a bit boring to include that and then not tell you very much about it, but, um, you know, I am trying to do my most used things. So stay true to my most used beauty video ethos. This you'll have already seen in my favorites video or top favorite things of April, and it's the Medicaid Crystal Crystal Retinol 6, which is like a super strength um, retinol. It's more powerful than retinol. 
uh, but doesn't have the associated side effects of something more powerful, so, so no redness, flakiness, uh, anything like that. And it's amazing. But go to that video if you want to learn more about that, because it's really good. Only just come out, it's taken, I think, probably quite a long time to get onto the market because it's a very difficult ingredient to formulate with, the retinol. And I just think, I loved, I went on a lab tour with brands and I just loved them. I loved everything they talked about and um, the whole science behind it. It was really, really good. It's a good day. So I've been using that loads. And then you, fill, you follow that with uh, a moisturising cream. And so I just wanted to go for something quite thirst quenching because it can make your skin feel a little bit dry using the retinol, the crystal retinol. Not like massively, but you are supposed to follow it with a moisturiser. So I've been using this one, and this is the L'Occitane Ultra Thirst Quenching Cream. They do a gel version as well, which is a bit lighter. But I like this one, I still think this is pretty light. It's just got a really nice texture. Uh, it's not like too ridiculously expensive. It's just, I suppose it's their answer to something like Clinique's Moisture Surge, I would say. So yeah, light, non-greasy, uh, but really, really hydrating and sort of moisturising as well. So I've used that loads and loads and loads, that one. And I think thus concludes my five most used beauty products of April. I really feel like I should expand it and it should be more products. But then I could just go on for, I mean, I could do like my 20 most used. I use so much stuff, but I really wanted to make it so that it's the things that I go back to again and again and again that have got me hooked. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I need to do an updated skincare routine and I also need to do an updated what's in my makeup bag because I've been using some really cool stuff recently. So I must remember to do that, but I have loads of things on my list. So I shall steadily work my way through and I shall see you next time.